We have been in contact with NHTSA this morning. The agency remaining pretty tight lipped about the nature of its investigation here, only telling us it has launched a special crash investigation into what it's calling a violent crash here at this intersection just five days ago. We are now learning that the male driver involved in that crash is in stable condition. However, his female passenger remains critical. You can see from our chopper seven the nose of that white Tesla sliding all the way underneath the tractor trailer just past the intersection. In general, NHTSA investigations like this are used to examine special crash circumstances or outcomes from an engineering perspective. NHTSA special crash investigations can look at emerging technologies, airbags, seat belts, school buses, or any potential safety defects in a vehicle, among other things. This isn't NHTSA's first time digging into a Tesla versus semi crash. In 2016, it launched an investigation into this fatal crash in Florida, where a 40 year old driver passed under a semi trailer and eventually struck a utility pole. Data from the wreckage shows the driver was using Tesla's advanced driver assistance features like the traffic aware cruise control and auto steer. In 2019, another fatal crash in Florida involving a semi. In that case, too, investigators found the autopilot system was in use, and as long as eight seconds before the impact, the driver's hands weren't on the wheel. Detroit police say it's unclear if autopilot was in use during last week's crash here in Detroit. The department is working with NHTSA on this investigation. We have reached out to Tesla. We are still waiting to hear back. And of course, we're also waiting for additional details from NHTSA at this point. Much more to come on this investigation. In Detroit, Chen Shantz, 7 Action News.